Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Saturday. All right, guys, well, we're back to talk about the Bethany and Bravo of it all, but also Carol Radziwell went on one of our favorite content creators, Heather McDonald's Juicy Scoop, and she had some Juicy Scoop to drop. But now Bethany is saying that's not true. So we're going to get into all of it. But before we do, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And yeah, guys, I think it's about time to jump right in. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the Bethany Frankel and Carol Rousey will love it all. Now, Bethany Frankel denies Carol's stupid claim that Michael Cohen took the It's About Tom pick. Bethany Frankel slammed Carol Radziwill's stupid claim. I love how she's like, it's a stupid claim. That lawyer Michael Cohen took the now infamous photo of Luann Delicep's then fiance Tom Diagostino cheating on her in 2016. Only because I love you and because many of you have asked me in the comments will I comment on something so insignificant and so stupid. And it is that, no, Michael Cohen did not take the photo at the Regency of Tom. Now, she claimed that it was a woman who snapped the photo and that mystery woman is texting her right now on this very phone. She just sent me our original text and photo and it was the photo and underneath it, it said, maybe you should make different New Year's Eve plans, which I don't even know what that means, but <laughs> she did say, uh, no, this is not the situation, which I, I think is kind of funny that she's calling it out right away because I didn't think that she would say anything, but however... We know that Bethany Frankel and Carol Radziwill have had this sort of awkward kind of disconnect for a long time now. But wait, let's just keep going on this really quick. So the woman was seemingly referring to New Year's Eve 2016, the date of Luann Delisabs and Tom's wedding. It's dangerous to listen to just anyone spew their mouth off about something that they know nothing about. She responded to Carol's claim that she was with a friend around six months ago when Donald Trump's former attorney allegedly revealed that he was at the Regency with them when Tom D'Agostino kissed another woman and took the photo that Bethany Frankel showed to Luann Deliceps on season eight of The Real Housewives of New York. Now, Cohen said, I took the picture and I was like, the picture that was on Roni? And he was like, yeah, I took it. That's what she claimed on Juicy Scoop. Now, Carol alleged that Cohen was friends with Bethany Frankel's late former fiance, Dennis Shields, who unfortunately passed in 2018. And the former attorney sent the snap to Shields, who then forwarded it to Bethany Frankel. Uh, as you guys know, they were formerly best friends and having an intense fallout and have disagreed on a lot of things in the past few years. Now, back in 2021, Carol claimed that Bethany Frankel had no friend at the Regency and said that the whole thing was a total setup. Bethany knew this woman and found out that she was in contact with Tom. And Bethany was like, the next time you go, see, you go see him, text me. And that's what happened. That's what she said in Dave Quinn's book, Not All Diamonds and Rosé, about the woman kissing Tom Diagosino. She certainly didn't just happen to have a friend at the Regency at 10 p.m. on a Tuesday night when Tom just happened to be there kissing some chick that he used to bang. And Bethany Frankel later clapped back at this and denied that she set up the whole photo saying, like, pretty much, what? She said, how could I set up a photo? Am I in a movie? I'm casting? Like, hey, Tom D'Agostino, I'd like to cast you in the role as a cheater at the Regency Hotel. So in this case, I'm a casting director that called Tom D'Agostino, who I don't know, to say, listen, I know it sounds weird. I just want you to be in a bar and make out with somebody because I have a photographer who's going to be standing by to take a picture. Then I'm going to give it to everyone on the show and ultimately just completely dismantle your entire relationship. I don't know, guys. On this one, I am definitely believing Bethany Frankel. It doesn't even make sense. And when somebody changes their story, I just don't love that. If you change your story, it kind of gives me cause for pause as to before it was a setup, before she had somebody who was there to set Tom up to get this photo in order to bring a storyline to the show. But now it's not even a setup and it wasn't her to begin with. So not only did she go on Juicy Scoop with Heather McDonald, which again, nothing against Heather McDonald. We love Heather over here. Um, but now you changed your story. And when you changed it to this Donald Trump attorney, you don't even apologize for giving the wrong story the first time. So 
Mm. I'm just, I don't know. Now, moving on, Bethany Frankel is also being slammed right now. Uh, Page Six came out with an article saying Bethany Frankel is boasting about how she will bring down Bravo, shitting on the house that made her. Ever since Bethany Frankel launched her war on NBC Universal and Bravo with bombshell claims that reality stars are manipulated, plied with booze, and the victims of revenge X-related material, um, tongues have been wagging about who is supporting the former Roni star and who is hashtag Team Bravo. Overwhelmingly, it seems like people are behind Bravo, especially current cast members. After all, why bite the hand that feeds you? Last week, Bethany, along with powerhouse lawyers Mark Garagos and Brian Friedman, sent a stinging letter to her former network, TV network, alleging grotesque and depraved mistreatment, including plying cast members with alcohol while depriving them of food and sleep, denying mental health treatment to cast members, and covering up acts of X-rated violence. And we can't say it on here because it's YouTube, guys. I'm sorry that we have to be so PG. The skinny girl mogul is also trying to organize a union for unscripted TV performers. And now we have SAG-AFTRA, who is currently striking, and this week they've been in touch with her. According to Frankel, she has over 80 reality TV person personalities in her camp who have reached out for more details on the lawsuit, which has not been filed yet, and the proposed union. Her accusations were followed this week by an explosive incident on Below Deck Down Under, which saw cast member Luke Jones fired when he entered Sleeping Margot's bunk without clothes or permission, prompting a production member to break the fourth wall and intervene. Oh, oh, oh. Now page six can reveal the astonishing behind-the-scenes vitriol flying between members of a string of shows in the wake of Bethany Frankel's claims, accusing her of being ungrateful and hypocritical, shitting on the house that made her, is which what... It's... One source said this, right? Bethany Frankel famously sold part of her skinny girl company for $100 million during her eight-year housewives run and triggered the so-called Bethany Clause in future contracts, giving Bravo a cut of cast members' profits because of how much money she made. One Real Housewives source sniped that Bethany Frankel would still be selling cookies in the supermarket if it wasn't for appearing on Housewives. Mm-mm-mm. Another source said that the brain, um, well, the brash, she is the brain behind Skinny Girl, but the brash businesswoman is bragging at parties in the Hamptons that she is going to bring down Bravo and to not cross her. The scare tactic is not going over well, according to multiple housewives, and Frankel tagged a series of stars, giving the impression they are her supporters. Among them are Paige DeSorbo, Tom Sandoval, Stassi Schroeder, Hannah Burner, and cast members from The Real Housewives, Love is Blind, Below Deck, Banner Pump Rules, and Beyond the Bravoverse, JWoww, and also some stars from The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Page Six reached out to those tagged and, with some exceptions, either didn't receive a response or were told no comment. Frankel, too, declined to be interviewed through her publicist. Yeah, I don't see her talking about this right now, especially because, well, why would she? They are gearing up for whatever this is. I I'm not quite sure. I don't know what's going on, but... It is interesting. I mean, it's all interesting. And that's the whole point of us doing these videos. I don't have a dog in this fight. So I can sit back and confidently look at this and be like, I haven't been on reality TV. I'm looking at this as a spectator. I think that it's, yeah, definitely for damn sure wild, everything that's going on. But I don't mean that in a good or a bad way. I just think it's, I didn't see this coming. But I do love opening this up for you guys to go ahead and comment below. So let us know what you think. And more importantly, if you are a part of our members only live, we are dropping a Vanderpump Rules interview. Um, we're not dropping the full interview. I'm going to drop a clip for you guys for members only. If you guys don't know how to join, it's right there in the community tab. I will post it on there when I post the clip. It's an interesting one. It's one that hasn't been done before. And you guys, I hope, enjoy it. Um, I don't know what the feedback's going to be, but we'll see. That's a lot of spoilers for what's to come and what's going on. So just join memberships. It's $2.99 if you have it. And if not, then you can wait around and eventually it will be posted on our YouTube channel, full interview. And I'm sure with this one, it will be everywhere. All right. With that, guys, go ahead and smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.